ultimate street food adventure. Welcome to Pakistan. Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing. Pakistan, how could you see all these YouTubers go there, eat this delicious food, meet these amazing people, and have this experience of a lifetime and it's just so different from the Pakistan before this image that the media has portrayed and I want to find out the real truth of Pakistan like everybody else has and for that to happen there's only one thing I can do go myself I request all customers to maintain a parking in Singapore Welcome to Karachi Located in the southern part of Pakistan, on the water, Karachi is your typical port city. That means the trading of good and spices for hundreds and hundreds of years. In Karachi's cuisine, this place those years of traded spices. Spicy, robust flavors and options galore to fill the hard workers of their day. But there's one dish in particular that you have to eat while in Karachi, and that is biryani. Today we're headed to Karachi and even Pakistan's most famous biryani, Al Rahman. An addicting aroma, spices that tantalize your taste buds. There's no question as to why so many choose to pick Al Rahman. Biryani, Bada in Karachi. And of course I'm not alone. We have the one and only Shining Walla with us today. Now we are going to get this food tour started. Before I want to say a quick thank you to Street Food PK because I would not have found any of these places if it wasn't for his YouTube channel. So if you want to know all about street food in Pakistan, you gotta check it out. Now to come for this biryani, you gotta come to the old part of Karachi. You come down here, it is worn down. You can feel the history, feel the years that people have been living in this area. Here in Karachi is really, really famous for its biryani. Nowhere else in Pakistan really is. This is the place you gotta come and get it. And we're here at one of the most popular locations. What do you have these are the brothers that are responsible for making this biryani. As you can see, they've had like five eating stations, and we're getting into the kitchen right now. And first thing you notice is it's hot in here. They're cooking some biryanis right now. There's like 12 just going right here at one time. So, biryani is about 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. So you see there's many many steps that go into making biryani before you can get it in the one pot together. 
right here they've got their spices, their oils, their chicken cooking. And over here is where they're cooking their rice before they bring them together and pile it together to be steamed to get that final product. And what you're doing is you get these workers in here that have so much expertise. So while he's cooking that, he's actually lifting it up, just gonna grab it and feel it. And he knows exactly how much he wants it cooked by the feel. I mean, that is precision to it. You get so much expertise just going into every little step of cooking. ये ओपन इसी वजह से हमने ये जगह का इंतजाम किया है कि ये बंद जगह में हमारे जिस हिसाब से काम है ये नहीं हो सकता। From this point on, the rice is finished at half well. Transportation is needed, and the deep appreciation for the biryani is developed. Just an incredible display of making the biryani right here. You can see, so everything they cook, those oils, that chicken, everything goes on bottom, and then they're gonna put that rice on top. 15 kilograms here, 15 kilograms here, 15 kilograms in each pot. There's some oil in the pizza de resistance to finish it off. Some chilies. You see they got two people right here. This is their takeaway section. Then we get over here in the back. That's where your dine-in is. I mean, there's just biryani, there's rice, chicken, flying everywhere. You can see here, they've already got another biryani, just massive, massive pot, ready to go. They're constantly having to move here. I've never seen so much biryani in my life. We finally got the biryani, the number one biryani in Pakistan. We also got their gear with it, which you can see right here. And something else going along with it as well. And then a massive plate of vegetables and cucumbers that we can just sprinkle some seasonings and a little lemon on it as well. As you can guess, the rice is perfectly cooked. The way the spices have seeped into it, but that rice just holds on to all that flavor. We get into some of this chicken with it as well. Wow. That is so special. So melt in your mouth, so soft, juicy, and tender. With the perfect aromatic rice, the spices soaked into it. That's why you see they now got one, not two, but three locations you can come and get this biryani. What you gotta love too is they're not afraid of the spice here. People have been telling me, hey, it's spicy, it's spicy, it's spicy. And they do, it will tickle the back of your throat, but it's not overpowering at all. Yeah. Just pulling out huge chunks of dried spices, oils, fats. Cinnamon bark just hanging out in this biryani. I mean, there's just the amount of dry spices they packed into it that have infused into that oil. Using that oil to transport that flavor into the rice. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. There it is at the bottom, nice and hidden, the potato. Wow. Go ahead and put that all over this. That is unreal. You get that creamy sour yogurt with that mint. It just transforms everything because it completes it. It becomes whole. If you see that on your table, you take that, you put it all over there. Can't finish off 
to have a little something sweet here. Not too sweet, not at all. Really get a little bit of that rice granule texture. It's kind of like a nice milk pudding. That jaggery sweetness coming through. I don't know what just happened. Pakistani hospitality knows what just happened. We ate another biryani, so we ate two biryanis, each two, two, dessert, chai, but it didn't stop there. And then we, we needed a freaking recharge card for our phones, and they went and got these and they wouldn't take the money. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you back, Pakistan. I'm gonna get you that, I'm gonna get you that kindness back, somehow. I'm kind of speechless, dude. <laughs> it's coming back at you. So we made it to the famous Burns Road where you can get so much food. We got some kids that are interested in us. We came for sweet and they like sweet too, so I'm gonna give them a little special treat. <laughs> There's just so much delicious food on Burns Road. Even this little corner right here, you can go to Wahid right here. It's been 1961 for the kebab fry. You can go right here for the babu bun. There's also another delicious must have with the chutney. But we're gonna go for something sweet. And sweets they have. About everything you could imagine and want. Gulab jamun, they got the jalebi, they got things that I don't even know, but when you want something sweet, you come right here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I gotta start out with one of my favorite one they're most famous for, the Gulab Jamun. I think I finally said it right. Pretty close. But check it out. Look at that, all that sugar sweetness coming out of there. They've just saturated this. Oh, that was gonna be a huge bite. I had to get it because I saw all the kids just devour like three pieces in three seconds. Oh. It's still a little bit warm. Kind of got like that molasses, sugary feel. It's soaked into all that. But then it's got that little bit of rose water. That, that touch of rose water is really keeps this from being too much and too sweet. I'm not a man of many words, I just eat it. <laughs> is that the best you've ever had? I'm pretty damn good. It has like a very, it doesn't have a super strong sugar taste. I think it's the rose water, but I'm not sure. It's kind of like sugary molasses, but it's not too much. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it remind me of like maple syrup. Exactly. Very much like maple, maple syrup, but kind of like the fake kind. Right. But like way better. And we did it. First day done. I don't think we paid for a single thing. <laughs> the love in Pakistan is bigger than my hair right now. We didn't pay for it. Oh, we paid for the chai. And, oh no, that wasn't even this video. <laughs> Okay, we didn't pay for a single thing in this video. We didn't pay for a single dang thing. Crazy. Okay. That's it. I hope y'all liked the video. I hope you liked seeing the real side of Pakistan, what Chris and I were trying to show. It's not Go. what the news shows that it's so dangerous and stuff. People here are just like incredible. Go follow Chris for more than just food. <laughs> Thank you as always, brother. Yep. Well. We'll catch y'all the next one. Peace. In the house.